So the solution I'm going to show you today is how to place an image in an existing document on an existing canvas in Open Canvas when you already opened the document because if you want to have an image as a base for a for a painting or something then of course you just you don't create you don't use but you open you click open and then you choose the image you want you click that and you open it and that way the image is the basis of your your drawing and then you can make more layers here and draw on top of the image as you want to the question is if you don't have this image in your or or you've drawn something already or you want two images you opened an image and you want to put another one over it or you've just you've just drawn something already on the on the canvas you did a tree like this and you say oh i think i need a reference for a tree <laughs> And when you open file, normally like in Photoshop, you would have place embedded, you would have a possibility, just import an image directly. And here, this does not exist. So there are two possibilities to get this done. One is the most simple one, I would say, that is you go onto your files, you pick the image that you want, you open that in any way, you have to open it, however, in any kind of uh, document, and then you copy that, and then you have that in the clipboard. So then you go back to your open canvas, then you click file, and then you click new via clipboard. And here it'll open a separate file though. It's not gonna be the same one, it's gonna be separate, but now you have it as an open canvas. And now you go under edit and you say copy image. Then you go back to your original document here, again, under edit, and you say paste. And now it's going to make a layer inside of your document with this image. Now, of course, the image is not really the right size if you want to. It's not a tree even, but never mind. Uh, so if you want to resize this image while you have this layer selected with the, with the image that you imported, you can click either this icon on the shortcuts or control T. And then you click this and you get free transform. And here, if I'm going to zoom out to make it a little easier to see, you can just grab, you can click this because this is constrained proportion. So it will not destroy the image if you, if you swipe a little bit more to the left or the right. And here you can move it, you can place it however you want, place it to the right, place it to the left. And of course, then you can move the layer to have it lower or higher. And you just click apply when you have it the way you want to. You can twist it around and everything. And we do this. It's taking a lot of time and then it's applied and then you have this layer so you can move it down, for example, and have it underneath the, the tree layer, which is if I keep if I lower the opacity, we can see the huge difference between the tree and the shrub. So this is the way you can import one way. Now, there is another way that is simply to go file and then you can't go clipboard unless you did the first thing that I showed you because you have to place it in your clipboard, but you can just say new. And then you're going to have your choices here. So you can say open and then again, you choose your image. So you go down, 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 and then you click it and you say open. And then you get the same procedure. So the image is in another, in another instance of, of open canvas. You go edit and copy. You can just say copy. So control C on your keyboard will do the same thing. Control C. You go back to the to the image where you want to work, the canvas where you want to work. You do edit and you do paste, which is also control V. So if you want to, you can just click control V and then you're going to have this layer. And again, if you want to correct it, fix it, something, you can click the control T or this free transform icon. And now you can mess around with it however you want, because sunsets are really the best when they're skewed. <laughs> So that's the way you put images into open canvas if you want to trace or do things like that. And also remember that if you just want a reference, that is, if you just want to look at an image while you're drawing, then you don't need to do any of this. You just go into Windows, you choose your reference window, and here you will have a window on the side that you can enlarge, you can make it bigger or smaller, you can place it wherever you want by, by pu pulling this. And here you just choose from also the images that you have. You pick your, your reference here and here you can, you can move it around, you can make it bigger or smaller 
and you can turn it and do all the things that you would do here in the in the general image so but this one isn't gonna be part of your image so you're not drawing on it you just have this reference so you can look at it and and draw next to it and you can even color pick from this so if you want exactly that color then you can draw with exactly the color that you picked from this image and you can flip it also if you want to and throw it out so that is how you do the process of getting an image into open canvas when you already have a document that you're working on.